Hey, hey guys, CP Motor here, back with another video, and today we're here with something a little bit different in a little bit of a different scenario in place of where we normally do our videos. Now, normally, before I go ahead and do a video and show you guys how to do a cool new mod to your device or your computer or something like that, generally I'll go ahead and practice it on my own stuff and make sure it is sort of a reliable method to go ahead and do something. However, with that being said, I was actually going to be doing a video on how to root your um, Asus Zenfone 2 and go ahead and do a a few mods to it. I managed to successfully root it, however one of the mods went bad and bricked the Zen Phone 2. Now at this stage normally what you would go ahead and do is just jump in and basically reflash the stock OS and maybe do an update and re reinstall everything, but most of the time you're not losing any data as long as you backed everything up, which is generally what I do. So at this stage generally what we go ahead and do is just use the back volume buttons to go sort of around the actual device. So what we normally do is just jump into recovery mode so that the computer can go ahead and see the phone, we can flash the stock firmware on there, and we're basically set to go. However, with that being said, the phone boots up like so and tells us in search of incredible, and other companies would argue that they've already found the incredible, but nonetheless, we'll just let that go through. And we get this dead little Android guy, which is actually really worrying, which means we can't actually get into the recovery mode, it's just flat out broken. However, there is a workaround it, and it is really, really simple. Now, I believe this works with just about any phone is really you're just using the physical buttons as opposed to the software on the device. So make sure it's not plugged into anything and has a bit of battery left. So what we're going to go ahead and do is hold the top power button as well as the volume up button and we're just going to click the volume up button I believe. So as I said we're going to go ahead and hold the power button and just tap the volume up button to actually just bypass this whole nonsense. So essentially we're just bypassing it all because it's complete and again just nonsense. So what we're going to do we're going to hold it and click and we're into that menu. So we didn't have to wait for anything to load up or any nonsense like that. We can reboot now. We can apply stuff from ABD, which is what we're going to be using to sort of uh, flash our phone back to basically stock and then just start again with it. Or you could do anything else, wipe data and factory reset. You could clear cache partition, all those good things. So basically, this was a really quick video how to get into the recovery sort of section of your phone without any problems. Now, this is obviously a really quick video that we have here today. But otherwise, guys, chuck us a like if you like this kind of um, quick little video and let me know if this was helpful. Also too, let me know if you are still stuck at the screen and if you are still having problems, I'll be more than happy to help you guys through these stages. Otherwise, stay tuned, get subscribed and I'll see you all next time. What?